So Tim Henson might be the most influential guitarist of our generation. Dude is wild. By now, most of us have heard Playing God by his band Polyphia, and if you haven't, please, please give it a listen. As mind-bending and as incredible as that song is though, I have a version that even Tim hadn't heard yet. Man, that's crazy as fuck. You had it going just like around and shit. Yeah. That was wild. Before we talk about how I got that version, we first gotta go back in time for a second. Tim and I got a chance to chat on IG. We were talking setups, his at the time future studio, and ended up talking about the Genelec Ones, the speakers that live in both our studios today. So some time passes, I go deeper and deeper down that Genelec rabbit hole and get really into Dolby Atmos, like really into it. I began mixing in Atmos and in Spatial Audio, got a chance to do Julia Wolf's entire album, which I'm really proud of. And from there, I mustered up the courage to ask Tim if he had the stems so I could take a stab. Polyphia in stereo is already kind of a sensory overload, so Polyphia in Atmos is kind of... At this point, I feel like every single one of my friends had heard playing God in Atmos except him, so we had to change that. He ended up flying out to California to work on a super secret project with my friends over at Apogee, so definitely make sure to follow them both to see what's coming. But during that process, I hit him with a reverse Uno card and it was like, yo dude, I got a surprise for you. I'll definitely cover this setup in more detail soon, but it's all Genelec ones in glorious 7.1.4, paired with the Apogee Symphony I.O. Mark II Special Edition, and I don't think there is a better sounding combo in the world. All right, wow. How beautiful. Oh, shit. This is the uh, surround sound as fuck room, huh? <laughs> Crazy. Just surrounded by Jennies. Beautiful. And that's the big boy sub, huh? Yes. Oh my god. Can I see what like the, the visualizer of the yeah, the speaker and stuff? That? Yeah, over the, I've seen the music video. <laughs> Now, I was kind of nervous as Tim hit play. There was a good chance that he could think this was trash. But then he looked up at the height speakers, smiled, and I was like, okay, we're good. I wish everybody could hear it like this. And if you guys wanna hear it in Atmos and in Spatial Audio, drop a like, and who knows, maybe we can get that out into the world. But for now, I'll be switching back and forth between three different audio sources. The live audio, which is actually just this tiny little mic from Apogee, AKA the Clip Mic Digital 2. I don't know how it sounds as good as it does, but it does. And the fact that it handled the drop on Playing God without falling apart is actual insanity. I'll also be including a surround bounce, so if you have headphones, throw them on now, and I'll be including a surround drum and bass version, which will let you focus in on some of those moments, and honestly, just let us appreciate how good Clay Squared is.
it's crazy as fuck. So you you had it like, you had it going just like around and shit. Yeah. That was wild. Especially like there was that one like uh, sample in like the first half that's like the yeah. and every time you it, I saw it go yeah. like around me. Yeah. yeah, crazy. And then at the end, like did you have it like just? It's, it's above, yeah. Yeah, and then you brought it like below. Yeah, yeah. God, that's wild. Cool, man. That was crazy as fuck. I wish um, I wish I had a setup at home to appreciate your work better than the AirPods. So what an incredible experience. Just want to thank Tim, his team, my friends over at Apogee and Genelec, Dave Way for getting me into Atmos, Julia, Emma, Nico, Asher, Adam for trusting me to do the Atmos mixes on your music. I'll drop a playlist to those songs down below as well as a link to one of my favorite creators, Mike Cole, who uh, gave Tim Henson a guitar lesson. Oh,